welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is a continuation of last week's lesson, which is about a relative, relative clauses. And today we're looking at the difference between uh, two relative pronouns that people often confuse. We're looking at the difference between which and that. People often confuse these, especially when they're writing. Um, in order to know the difference between which and that, we have to first know the difference between a defining relative clause and a non-defining relative clause. So first we have to know the difference. So let me give you some key points to know the difference between a defining relative clause. A defining relative clause defines or identifies the person, place, thing, time, or reason. Now remember last week we said with person we're going to use who or that. With place we're going to use where. With thing, we're going to use which or that. With time, we're going to use when. And with reason, we're going to use why. And we talked about those last week, so if you need to review those, go ahead and look at last week's lesson. So, in a defining relative cause, clause, you can substitute that for who and that for which. So you can use that to substitute. There's no commas before or after the clause. There's no commas. That can be used in place of who or which. And the last thing, the relative pronoun can be omitted, left out or omitted, if, this is an if, if it is the object. of the verb. Okay, so let's look at two examples. The first example I'm going to give you I'm going to wear the sweater that I bought in Whitefish. I'm going to shorten that to just WF, my city. I'm going to wear the sweater that I bought in Whitefish. So a couple things about this sentence. You can see, oh, missing the R in the last end of sweater there, so I'm going to put that in. A couple things that you can see is that I bought in Whitefish, this tells me what sweater. It defines sweater, so it's necessary. If I say I'm going to wear the sweater, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have any meaning. You need this last part, the relative clause, to tell me which sweater. And in this case, you can use which. Which or that is correct, which I bought in Whitefish. So this is needed. This is this last information is needed. It's 
needed information to complete the sentence. Now, in a defining relative clause, we can omit the relative pronoun, that or which. So this makes perfect sense. I'm going to wear the sweater I bought in Whitefish. You could omit that. Usually we do that when we're speaking. So we can keep it in there. Or we can omit it. Let me give you another example using who. She is the woman who I buy eggs from. So who here is my uh, relative pronoun and it defines the woman. That's what I'm telling you. That's what's important about her. That's why I'm telling you this sentence. Again, in the sentence we can omit who and say she is the woman I buy eggs from. This is perfectly fine. And also in this sentence we can use that. That or who makes sense. So now let's take a look at non-defining relative clauses. So a non-defining relative clause adds extra information. Extra information. It's a not needed. It's just extra information that you're giving someone. Um, you need, so let's take a look at a couple of the rules. You need commas before and after the clause. So you need commas both before and after the clause. That cannot substitute for which or who. So we cannot substitute that. That cannot substitute which or who. And just a little note here. This is um, more common in written English than in spoken English. more common in written English than in spoken English. So let me give you a couple examples here. The first one we're going to talk about the sweater again. So the sweater which I bought for ninety dollars is a beautiful pink. There's that color at the end here. Color. It's a beautiful pink color. So you can see, here's my two commas before and after. Here's my non-defining relative clause, which is extra information. It's not needed. The sweater is a beautiful pink color. That's the information that I wanted to tell you. That's the important piece of information. This is just a little added information for the side. In this case, that cannot be substituted here. We cannot use that in place of which. So I hope that I hope that uh, helps you when you're writing and you're using that or which, trying to decide between the two. If you have any questions, you can always contact us and take some English classes. Thanks. Happy learning.